Hey folks, it's Tom and Frugal Prepper. So I am working on the Malibu here. I have the engine uh, paid for, but they still have to pull it out. They're probably gonna have it out next week. I have to buy it from another junkyard. They gotta get it pulled. But um, what I'm gonna do in the meantime is go through here and fix all this wiring. Let me show you. So if you guys can see all of this, you know, convoluted tubing is just gone from this wiring. It needs rewrapped, redone. Uh, I do have one connector for the variable valve solenoid to solder back together and put on. Uh, I thought the starter one was broken, but it's actually not. It was just loose and came unplugged really easy. But I'm just gonna replace all of this like plastic tubing that's old and breaking apart on all these wires. And I'm gonna wrap them up with some of this uh, special wiring harness tape that I have. And this one has a repair going to it. These two wires come over here to the bottom of this fuse box. So if somebody's done a repair on this wiring at some point, I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna troubleshoot it if we have a problem after we get the engine back in. Um, and see if I can figure out what what that is if I need to um, but just all this wiring needs fixed so I'm gonna get to work and do this uh, while I am waiting on the engine to come um, and I'm also gonna pressure wash this out before I drop the new engine in most likely you know uh, I might not I don't know I might just let it stay dirty <laughs> but I got all this convoluted tubing I probably am going to go have to buy some larger ones for the larger pieces because um, this is the only larger piece that I have right now. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to have to get some more. I might run up to AutoZone and see if they got some. Uh, but we'll wrap all these wires up and, and get them back together. And I'll bring you guys along for the trip. All right, so we're just going to... Tape this stuff up. I've got some Dorman large convoluted tubing. I got all kinds of small convoluted tubing. I got some Super 33 tape. I have some of this special, uh, this is like a cloth tape for wiring harnesses. I get really cheap on Amazon. I'll put a link to that down below. But now we're just going to take this wiring harness here like this one for instance and what I like to do is just take the pieces off a little at a time because you have spots where things like uh, this will poke out of there and it'll you know you want to make sure you tape those in the same place so let me bring it over here a little closer so y'all can see what I'm doing hopefully So what I'm gonna do is just cut this a little bit off a little at a time. Be careful not to cut through the wires. And we'll just stick that off of there. Okay, and now um, this is my special cloth tape. I'm gonna just continue to wrap that around. We gotta bring those two out. And DM doesn't normally wrap all their wiring, some of them they do, but I like to wrap them. It just makes them stay neater and tighter, I think. Gives them an extra layer of protection. So now we got this and we have this nylon strap on here, which we're gonna have to snip off. Um, I think this is something that someone has put on here that doesn't normally go on there. But uh, we're gonna snip that off. We'll put another one on it if we have to. But let me get the cutters and snip that off. Oh, 
got me a little cheapy pair of Harbor Freight cutters. We'll just snip this little nylon strap out of our way. And then we'll take this. And we'll take this on off of here. And we're gonna have to cut that some more. There we go. Now we're ready to take these wires out. I think this is five eighths. I just had a, ch a chunk of it laying out. So this last part will probably need some some bigger stuff, but this part right here, I think five eighths is big enough. So we'll just go ahead and put it down on here. All right, so now. We're just gonna take and put some tubing on this part of it right here. And we're gonna go about to right there. We'll just cut, and cut this tubing. Okay, now where these have broken, I'm gonna kind of center this up. Then I'm just gonna cut this part right here. There we go. And then we gotta get some little pieces to put on this and put on these right here so we have to get some little pieces for these two parts i cut this right here and then we'll be ready hopefully okay so i have some little conduit that we're going to do up for this piece and this piece is a piece i had it looks like it's about the right length for this so we'll go ahead and stick that on here this little stuff can be a little more of a challenge to get it to open up and go on. Okay, so that piece fit perfect. Now we just gotta do a couple of some more smaller pieces here. So we'll do the end of this O2 sensor wire. I got a little too much. We're just gonna cut that off about right there. Okay, now we gotta do this one right here.
Oops, not that one. See, this one's got to slide up some. Right into there. That needs to be coming back to about right there. Cut that one. We'll just tuck that right in there. That's perfect. Okay. So now we got to do these right here. Oh, this is my knock sensor. I need to take that out. It's still hanging on there. Okay, that'll make it easier to work with. And we still have a piece of wiring, a piece of loom, old loom stuck on that one. We'll take and we'll cut that out. I always like to look at this oil pressure sensor connectors. These have a tendency to go bad on these three fives and three nines and they break. But this one looks like it's still okay. So I'm believing it. But I have some extra ones that are brand new that I can replace those with if I need to. But they're a pain in the butt once you have the motor in to get them replaced. They're a real pain in the butt to get to, but you can get to them. But a lot of people replace their oil pressure sensor thinking it's bad and it's actually that connector that's gone bad. Let me cut that one but right there. And we got this one, gotta do it. A little short piece. We'll just cut that one ahead of time to about right there. Silly thing. There we go. There we go. So we have these two wires for the starter. This one did not have a piece on it. This is the power main power to the starter. This is the signal wire. It gets a piece of lube on it. We'll cut that one about right there. I don't want to lay that down there. It's too greasy. And we'll just go ahead and put this one on here. All right, now we just gotta taper up towards the ends with some electric tape. And then this harness will be repaired. So let me get some electric tape and we'll work on that. All right, I have some Super 33 electric tape. 
and I'm not going to tape back here yet. I'm just going to tape up here, start kind of far back, and then just tape it around a few times here. And then we're just going to tape around here. Make sure those ends are taped down good. We'll pull that. Now we gotta tape these off. We'll tape that one off. See if we can get it to go. This one's having a hard time because it's so oily from that darn wire. But we did it. Now we'll come up and we'll tape around this one. Now we'll just go down here. Behind them, tape in between them. Just make sure we have good coverage everywhere. Now this one is a little too long, so we're gonna trim a little off of it. We want to leave some at the end. better what we'll probably do is just take this whole Darn piece. <laughs> okay. I need to take this one up here. that done. Now we're going to tape this part. here and just tape around this and tape this one down and we'll go ahead and put some tape around this even though it did not have any before Tape the end of this one. Now we're ready to tape this one. I'm 
by there. Put the tape around this one. Now we'll tape around this middle one. Good, now we just gotta tape these ends off. Alright, so now we have one repaired wiring harness ready to hook up and go into the engine. So now we just have to go through the rest of it. And I'm going to do the same thing to all of it. And we'll have a nice, decent wiring harness ready to go back and hook everything up in this car. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and solder this little wire that's down here. Uh, I put some heat shrink on there and stripped it out and we're gonna go ahead and just solder it up here real quick I'm gonna have to kind of try to brace this on something to get it up here a little higher and Move that yeah, we'll, kinda, we'll put that in there Move those two back and Turn my solder and iron on Plug it and replug it. I hit the wrong button. There we go. We'll melt a little floor on it here. And this is the one I had to cut this connector off in order to get the engine to pop out because it was under a bracket. Okay, that one's good. We'll just do this one. Now we sort of those two little wires. I have to look around to find my lighter. I'm, I don't smoke anymore and I don't keep lighters on hand. Oh, that's not a good solder joint. This one's okay. But this one kind of questionable. Hang on, let me, let me turn this back on and hit it again. It got one side of the wire, but not the other side. We just have to heat her back up. Solder on there. 
pretty good these uh, greasy ones are kind of hard to get to solder sometimes there now we got it okay Now we'll slide our heat shrink over then. can go back in the bracket and get taped down and that one is and we'll put a piece of convoluted tubing you know convoluted conduit tubing over this and kind of tape these existing ones up these aren't brittle they're still good and then we'll be set all right find my find me some tape here I can go ahead and just tape this end on here where it goes. Tape just went around here. that plugs into my VVT uh, solenoid so it's important it's an important one to have all right there we go so I don't know uh, if you can see but I have redone most of the wiring and harnesses in here so there is no exposed wiring everything's taped up it's good to go it's not going to rub and we are now ready to get the motor and start dropping her in there all right everything's fixed and good to go